a reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear friends, if God loved us so much, we too should love one another. No one has ever seen God, but as long as we love one another, God remains in us, and his love comes to its perfection in us. This is the proof that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us a share in his spirit. We ourselves have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Anyone who acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have recognized for ourselves and put our faith in the love God has for us. God is love. And whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. Love comes through its perfection in us when we can face the day of judgment fearlessly. Because even in this world, we have become as he is. In love, there's no room for fear. But perfect love drives out fear. Because fear implies punishment and no one who is afraid has come to perfection in love. And our responsorial psalm is from Psalm 72. God, endow the king with your own fear judgment, the son of the king with your own saving justice, that he may rule your people with justice and your poor with fair judgment. The kings of Tarshish and the islands will pay in tribute. The kings of Sheba and Saba will offer gifts, for he rescues the needy who call to him and the poor who have no one to help. He has pity on the weak and the needy and saves the needy from death. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. And at once he made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side near Bethsaida while he himself sent the crowd away. After saying goodbye to them, he went off into the hills to pray. When evening came, the boat was far out on the sea and he was alone on the land. He could see that they were hard pressed in their rowing for the wind was against them. And about the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. He was going to pass them by. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out, for they had all seen him and were terrified. But at once he spoke to them and said, Courage, it's me, don't be afraid. Then he got into the boat with them, and the wind dropped. They were utterly and completely dumbfounded because they had not seen what the miracle of the loaves meant. Their minds were closed. The Gospel of the Lord.